Hi, I'm Dr. Felisa Smith. I'm a professor in the biology department at the University of New Mexico. Recently, I've been involved in the organization of two special features, one in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, uh, USA, and the other in ecography that deal with the decline of megafauna in the Earth system. Megafauna are animals that are over a certain size. We normally think of them as over maybe 500 kilograms. So today, the only extant megafauna are things like hippos and rhinos and elephants, uh, giraffes, things like that. But if you go back in time, we, the Earth was full of megafauna. Though many of those went extinct about uh, 13,000 years ago. The reason I think this research is, is important is because the decline of megafauna is a, is a pressing environmental issue. We're all concerned about it because everywhere we look, we see that megafauna are in trouble. Elephants are in decline. Rhinos, there's just a handful of some of the species left. Giraffes are in decline, and people care about that. Um, not just because they're charismatic and fun to look at, but in fact, megafauna have important roles in ecosystems. So the loss of their ecological function is a pressing environmental concern. So what we try to do then is we want to understand how large animals impact ecosystems, but we don't really have time to study that and to actually mitigate uh, to prevent the decline of these animals. So what we've done is we've turned to the past and we, we use uh, the ecosystems at the terminal Pleistocene as a proxy for understanding how megafauna influence ecosystems today. What we find is that mammal communities 13,000 years ago were structured fundamentally different than they are today, that modern communities are simpler with fewer associations between the species, less tightly coupled and perhaps less cohesive than they were in the Pleistocene. And that's a concern because it means that environmental pressures of habitat alteration, climate change, and other things might result in sort of the unraveling of these ecosystems.